Hi there. Welcome to Soapbox Episode 3. It's been a while since I did one of these. Hopefully I won't ramble on quite so long as I have in the past. Um, so, not much new. Um, had a couple topics I wanted to talk about, or touch upon at least. Um, first one is, uh, you know, it's, it's actually probably not any news to anyone, but um, I just, I'm curious, what is it with um, theist YouTube pages, specifically Christian and Islamic YouTube pages, uh, and being fucking block bitches, man. Those motherfuckers will will delete comments so fucking fast and block a motherfucker just for, you know, honest questions. So, actually, actually I know what it is with that. At least I think I do. Which is, um, because their message, generally speaking, their message is, um, is entirely... Uh, it entirely requires the suspension of disbelief in order to, to sound valid at all. Like, if you play along, if you play along with their their presuppositions uh, and you go under the, the pretext that there is, you know, what it, whichever God it is that they're selling, um, then they can create, uh, you know, uh, usually a, a pretty decent illusion, a pretty decent fantasy. Uh, but the moment you poke one little hole in it, even if just by asking an honest question, um, the illusion, of course, starts to erode. It's like a Jenga tower. You pull one block out and the whole thing starts to lean and possibly fall down. So so I think that's why they're so quick to be a little fucking block bitch and, you know, delete someone's comment or, or block a person from even making comments um, because they don't want anybody destroying their, their house of cards. Um... But I'm sure that's not news to anybody who's been on YouTube for any amount of time. Um, so yeah, block bitches. Um, next thing I wanted to mention is I've been thinking about how uh, how it seems like more and more, at least YouTube theists, are steering away. They're trying to steer away from almost any mention of science, at least it's so it seems to me. Um, you know, for a while they were trying to, you know, half-ass embrace it uh, with their intelligent design bullshit. But, you know, as it becomes more and more clear just how flimsy and bullshit-based, you know, their science is, um, you know, they're starting to steer away from that. But one, one thing I'm noticing is what they're starting to really, really focus on, um, it seems to me, uh, philosophy. And I think maybe the reasons for that, or at least one of the reasons for that, is because, uh, A, not a lot of people study or understand philosophy, uh, myself included. I, I really don't. Um, if I didn't have, you know, buddies like Cheeky Vim 208, uh, and no one left alive a key ball, I'd, I'd probably know total jack shit about fucking philosophy. I'd know there were some philosophers named like Plato and Aristotle and Socrates, and that'd be about it. Um, um, so I think so. I think that's part of it, is they, they realize that almost no one understands it. So it gives them a uh, uh, an area within which to sound like an expert and to uh, to confuse the conversation, to to bring in new mystery and um, and seeming seeming uh, reality into their arguments, uh, because so many of them, the classical arguments, uh, have been debunked. The ones that were for so long held dear. So they're they're going into this realm of philosophy where you know what is or is not, or rather I should say, what seems or does not seem real. That line is blurred um, in philosophy, and they know this. Let me move that camera so I don't have the litter pan on screen. Okay. Um, so that's that, um, or that's what I think about that. Uh, mainly is that they're they're embracing philosophy because it uh, still has the power to confuse your average person 
and it also is a, a venue in which they can sound real smart and like a fucking expert on some shit, which is, it's still just as retarded because I don't know who said it, but I read once, once at some point, some famous person said, um, philosophy can't answer any questions. It can only lead you to what questions to ask or something to that effect, but I'm not sure who said it. Shit, maybe I'm even fucking making it up. I might be half-assed remembering some shit I heard or something. It may, may not have even been anybody famous. But uh, but it seems right to me. I don't, I don't notice, it seems to me, that philosophy really answers any questions. It just is really good at honing down the questions. You know, what question should we seek to answer? So, yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, another thing I wanted to mention, and this this has really been cracking me up. I've been seeing this on a lot of different people's videos. Is this, is this too dark? Let me, let me turn the light on. Hold on. So, uh, so I've noticed that, uh, that it seems to me there's been a whole rash lately of big, uh, I guess you'd say name brand or, or well-established YouTube theists. Um, like one in particular a lot lately has been uh, the Bible thumping wingnut. <laughs> but I've seen it in, in other circles too, where people are saying, now a lot of theists are coming back coming back down to, uh, you know, come on, man. You, you, you believe life, you know, this is all the life you get and this is, this is it, it's so short. Well, what are you doing, you know, fighting theism? Why, why are you fighting against Christianity or Islam or whatever? You're wasting your time, man. Just go live life. Go have fun, you know. Go get a hobby. Stop, stop doing, you know, this, this, this thing because you're wasting your time if none of it's real. And so that's the argument they'll come with. Basically, they're trying to shoo you away. And to me, that is, that is such a desperation move. And to see well-established you know, big name YouTube theists using that just fucking cracks me up, dude. It's It screams desperation. It, to me, in effect, what they're saying is, um, is I don't want to hear your arguments anymore. Or, um, you know, I can't respond to your argument in an effective way. So I'd rather that I and my audience just not have to hear it. I just go away so I don't have to hear it anymore because I can't I can't answer I can't answer you or your argument. That's what it seems like to me. It's it's a total fucking bitch move right along the same lines as being a block bitch. It, it serves the same purpose. It's a way to uh to keep your illusion going, to keep your little bubble world that you've created um cohesive and uh without you know shining glaring errors in your little in your little matrix this seems like to me so i love seeing these 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 name brand dudes using this argument because it's just fucking laughable um so yeah there's that can't believe i'm having to actually look at a note for the, these simple subjects my brain is so Scatterbrain these days. I think I'm having a, a young onset of uh, Alzheimer's or something. Uh, let me see. Um, yeah, so that was like the three main things I wanted to mention. Uh, just things I've noticed in the uh, you know so-called atheist community and in the debates with theism uh, on YouTube. Uh, but another thing I recently saw, and man, I really wish I'd have, I'd have marked the moment so I really knew what it was I wanted to say about it. But I was watching a debate with uh, Cheeky Vim208 and, um, and several other uh, philosophy-minded uh, folks, YouTubers, one of which was Inspiring Philosophy, uh, which, you know, if you're, if you're not aware of him, He's a, I don't want to say anything too bad because I don't know the dude, but uh, he's, uh, 
he's kind of filling in somewhat in the vacuum of so many now gone YouTube theists. He's he's producing a lot of content uh, all of a sudden. Or maybe he always did, and I just never noticed because of some of the other theists out there and their content was more flashy or more interesting or just more in my rolled around in my my personal circles. Uh, but anyway, he makes a comment. There are the, these these philosophy minded folk, Gary Edwards and Chicky Vimto Eight, Inspiring Philosophy, and some others, uh, are discussing whether or not free will is a real is a real thing, right? The idea of free will. Do we have it? Does it exist? Is that a, is that a thing? Or just is it just a concept? I guess. Um, and the thing is, is that. I never really considered, I never really considered that free will could not be a thing because it seems so intuitive. It just seems as if we do actually have free will. But after several conversations with Cheeky Vim 208, uh, as well as watching this, this discussion between these philosophy minded folk and, and also some science from uh, Dazzle Tag. I don't know if you know Dazzle Tag, if you don't, you need to know him. Uh, another YouTuber, brilliant, brilliant guy, and also funny as hell. Uh, I would say he's a comedian slash scientist, but I don't really know his entire background, so who knows, maybe he's just a smart dude. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, so he was throwing in some science and stuff there too. And so they all caused me to, to kind of see the idea of free will in a different in a different way. And I'm pretty sure that I now agree. I mean, there's still some gaps in my understanding, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I now agree that there really actually isn't a such thing as free will, as bizarre as that sounds. Um, but that's besides the point. The reason why I'm bringing up the free will thing is during this discussion between Cheeky and them, at one point, uh, Inspiring Philosophy makes this statement where Gosh, I really wish I'd have wrote that shit down, man. I'm going to have to look it up and maybe add it to this video later. Um, where he makes this statement. And I don't know if he realized he was saying it or not, but he basically destroys the, the Christian ideal of free will. Which, to me, was shocking. Because most Christians, not all, but most Christians, use the idea of free will as their excuse for um, for the problem of suffering and the problem of evil, it's how they get out of those arguments. Is they try to say, well, God granted us free will, so the reason why we have such and such problems is because because of that free will. That's the consequence of having free will. But in the midst of this conversation. Um, it seemed that without him realizing it, Inspiring Philosophy agreed with the atheist debaters without even realizing it and destroyed the idea that, uh, you know, the idea of free will being the, the excuse uh, for the Christian God, which is funny because Inspiring Philosophy is decidedly Christian. I'm, I'm going to have to get that clip and see if I can add it. Man, I don't want to listen to that long ass conversation again, but it is what it is. I'll probably have to do it because otherwise you're not going to know what the fuck I'm talking about. And maybe I'm way, maybe I'm way off. I was half asleep when I was watching it. You know, maybe I misunderstood what he said. But it really seemed to fucking rip that shit, shit to shreds. And it was funny because, you know, by talking to Dara and Cheeky, I'd already come to the understanding that realistically, there is no such thing as free will. Um... You know, and if you want, I guess I can try to make a video later on if enough people ask, trying to explain how I came to understand that free will is an illusion. Um, but it kind of doesn't matter. I mean, I still ascribe to a free to to free will in the same way I still ascribe to uh, to the concept of love, love as we describe it, love as we traditionally know it doesn't really exist. It's a construct in your head. The, you know, real love is chemistry. It's, it's entirely chemistry. Um, and all these ideals and shit that we wrap around it are just constructs or psychological constructs. 
where we're trying to understand it. But, and I think that's the same thing with free will. But the thing is, I don't have a problem with, with still embracing the concept of love or the concept of free will and using that conversationally, poetically, even, even in all seriousness. Because even though in reality it's just a concept and doesn't exist as a thing in and of itself, it, um, it exists as the concept. It is a, a means by which we can understand a lot of other, either only loosely or not even at all related uh, aspects of our, of our known reality. Um, gosh, I, I'm rambling again, aren't I? The fuck, I can never stop rambling. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about all that, just little things I wanted to mention and get off my, get off my chest, I guess. Um, don't really have a lot of new news for myself. Just been working on artwork, did a little bit of poetry lately, not a whole bunch. Um, I do have something in the works, hopefully, as a um, as a collaboration between me and Cheeky Vim 208, who you may or may not know, um, is also a very, very good pianist. I said pianist, pianist. Watch, pianist. He's a very good pianist. Uh, and so, uh, so yeah, uh, he was talking about poetry and whatnot. And so, I'm going to try and write a poem to one of his, to one of his compositions. And if you haven't heard his stuff, please go to his channel and uh, and check it out. Cheeky Vimto Oik. Um, not only is he a a philosophical uh, forced to be reckoned with. He's, he he plays the piano beautifully. I mean, it'll move you. He thinks he's crap, but uh, but he's actually really really good. At least you know to my ears. What what the fuck do I know? I like heavy metal. So anyway, uh, yeah. So I guess that's uh, soapbox number three, and uh, and I'll go ahead and try and find that video clip and add it somewhere to the end here on this video so at least you know what what it is I was talking about and hopefully I didn't misconstrue what was said if I did you guys can correct me in the comments and let me know how I'm misunderstanding the conversation because it really seemed to me that that inspiring philosophy <laughs> mistakenly undermined one of the major arguments for Christianity uh, one of the things that douche tards like fucking William Lang and Craig likes to use, uh, which I think is one of Inspiring Philosophy's heroes. So it's funny to watch him sweep the feet out from under his heroes without even realizing it. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I guess that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, talk to y'all another time.